Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm finally ready to do my full review on this new foundation from Too Faced. Today I'm going to be doing an application demo, full review, and wear test on the new Do You Dewy foundation from Too Faced. This is a full coverage, glowy foundation, and I have the shade Porcelain. This is not a first impression. I have been using this foundation for a few weeks. I've used it with a combination of different primers, powder, powders, concealers, and I'm finally ready to give you my full thoughts. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of thorough foundation reviews. And if you want to see any more videos and you're not already, I hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So let's just jump into a little bit of background info on the foundation itself. This just came out with the new Tutti Fruity collection from Too Faced, and it's supposed to be kind of the sister to the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. So they have a matte foundation and they have the dewy foundation. That matte foundation is one of my holy grail foundations favorites of all time. That alone was enough to make me want to try this, especially since I'm now trying to look at more dewy options as we're getting into some of the colder months, theoretically. I say theoretically because it's October and yesterday it was 80 degrees, so it needs to hurry up and be the winter months. <laughs> so this claims to be a full coverage glowy foundation. One thing that I will go ahead and say is that the scent on this is kind of unbelievable. Heavily, heavily scented. If you're sensitive at all to scent, you're not going to like this foundation just right off the bat because it'll, it's like a watermelon. It was just like someone threw a watermelon at your face is what it smells like. So if you have sensitive skin, if you're not good with fragrance, because you can definitely smell this, you can smell it on your face, and it doesn't go away until you set it with powder, if you set it at all. If you like to keep your dewy foundations like not set, you're going to be smelling watermelon all day. So like I said in the intro, I have tested this foundation out with a variety of different circumstances, and so far, I really like it. I really enjoy this foundation. It's definitely different from what I normally go for, but for a dewy foundation, I really enjoy it. I have tested this out with a few different primers. The best primers that I've found that this works with are mattifying primers and pore filling primers because I've tried this with silicone based primers and it didn't look as good as when I used a mattifying primer, but that could just be my skin type. I do have combination dry skin. Um, particularly the dry areas being like around the perimeter of my face where my oily areas are right here in this triangle. So what I like to do is put a mattifying foundation all over my face and then I go in with a pore filler just kind of right here by my nose and sometimes if I need to up here on my forehead. So today I'm just going to take the Primed and Peachy Primer from Too Faced as well and just put this all over. So my eyes are already done because I actually just finished filming a palette bingo, which if that's already up, I'll link it up in the cards, but if not, keep your eyes out for it. I got to use this new palette that I have and I was really excited to do it. But after that video, I just took off my face makeup, washed the rest of my face, and then, you know, toned, moisturized, used a serum. Now that that is on, I'm going to go in with my pore reducing primer. So I've got two here that I really like. One is from Dr. Brandt. This is just a little sample that I'm still trying to go through. The one that I actually really enjoy from the drugstore is from Revlon. They have the Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. It's a bit expensive for the drugstore, but just never pay full price for this because it's like $15 or $16. I really think this should have been priced at $10. But you can always find coupons, you can always find sales, just never buy at full price. So I'm going to go into the Dr. Brandt today and just put this primer around my nose. And just tap it in like that. So I love the packaging of this. Again, it's a squeezy tube, just like the Comfort Matte Foundation. I really think this is the best packaging for foundations because you don't have to risk it breaking. It is comfortable to store it. Like it doesn't take up too much room like a big glass bottle will. And then also once like 
you finish like pumping everything out, you can cut the tube open and actually scrape out everything and get your entire money's worth out of it. So I really, really enjoy this packaging. Now the shade itself, we have to get into a bit of the issues with the shade. Like I said, I have the shade Porcelain. I've never been the shade Porcelain in a foundation before. And I'm pretty light. Like, I'm light medium just because I do have strong, like, yellow golden undertones. But I'm Porcelain in this foundation because it does oxidize like crazy. You really do need to go up two to three shades. The only way to really get this foundation is in store. I was in store like swatching on my face and on my neck and my boyfriend was there helping me and we had other people in the store looking at us and helping us out. It's a bit of a process and I was surprised that we found like porcelain is my closest match in this. And you can see that when I actually go to apply the foundation. Now the best way that I found to apply this foundation is with a brush. So I will dot on, let's go ahead and do it. We'll just dot this on. like that and then i will blend it out with a brush this is just my sigma f80 and i like to work in sections of my face so once i'm done with the brush i just go in with a sponge and smooth it out Now, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera, but this is not 100% full coverage. It's definitely, like, good coverage, definitely medium coverage. You can build it up to full coverage, but on one layer like that, it's not full coverage. So that's how I like to apply it, and it does get, like, a little sticky and harder to blend out the longer it sits on your skin so I would recommend just working in sections like this and not just dotting all over your face and then going to blend it in. I want to let this dry just for a little bit because then you can see the huge difference between one like when it's already applied versus when I first put it on because then you can see like the shade difference. Okay so now that we've given this about 30 seconds to dry down I'm gonna do the same thing on this side of my face but I want you guys to look at the difference in the actual shade. So let's You see that? So it does get significantly darker. I mean, it's not a huge problem for me as long as you know it ahead of time. Like I had heard from other reviews that it does oxidize, which is why I went to get my shade in store. So I did about three pumps onto this initially just to get like the bottom half of my face, but I ran out. So I'm gonna do two more pumps just to get my forehead and then I wanna build up down here because I do have a breakout down here. I wanna build up a little bit on my cheeks as well just to get a little bit more coverage. Now on my forehead, I'm just gonna go in with the sponge because I've already done my eyes and my eyebrows and I feel like I don't get as much precision with the brush as I can with the sponge. So I'm just gonna grab my mirror and pay attention. Nope, and I got it in my eyebrows anyway. Okay, so I'm now gonna build up on my chin. Can you see how dark that is now? This is the same foundation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna build up here. Isn't that crazy how you can see such a huge difference? Okay, so with that second layer, I now feel like I've been able to build it up to the full coverage that I like. So let me go ahead and zoom you in so you can see what my face looks like with the foundation fully applied. 
Okay, so you can see it did cover up my breakup down here really well. I actually really like the way that it sits around my nose. It doesn't look too cakey. It does look really nice there. That's my troublesome area. If a foundation can't look good around my nose, then it's just, it's not gonna work. Love the way that it sits on my cheeks. I didn't bring it up too high into here because I will be going in with concealer to finish up my makeup but I really like the way that it sits on my forehead as well. I did have to clean off my eyebrows because I still got foundation in my eyebrows, but I digress. So overall, it does look really nice when you apply it. And I am looking a little bit dewier just because of the ring light right behind the camera. Now, like I said earlier, you don't 100% have to set this foundation because it does dry down enough so that you could blend product up on top of it. I personally just like a completely matte surface to blend my products on. So I will be setting my cheek area. I will be putting concealer on and also setting down here with loose powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then we'll be back for the final look and then the beginning of the wear test. Okay guys, so we're back with my makeup totally done. I did set the majority of my face with powder just because that's what I'm used to doing. And I also used concealer and loose powder under my eyes. So I did use my Kylie concealer under my eyes. I set that with my Natasha Denona loose powder, both of which are part of my new project pan. My finished six by Solstice. So if you missed that intro, I'll throw that up in the cards for you to check out. And then the rest of my face. So I left my forehead alone so we can see how the foundation sits without any powder. But for the rest of my face, I used the two face powders in my new Hourglass Ambient Unlocked. God, I cannot get the name on this right. <laughs> Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. I'm never going to get it right. But I used the two face powders here to set all around here. And then also my bronzer comes from this palette. It's the bronzer shade right here and the blush. I've been using this palette a lot. I really enjoy it. The highlighter is different, however. I went back to one of my favorites, the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. <sighs> I love this highlighter so much. <laughs> so I did that. Um, and then what I'm wearing on my lips today, I'm actually doing a wear test for the Fenty Lip Stunna. This is in the shade Uncuffed. So since I'm doing a wear test on the foundation, I thought, you know what, why not do the wear test for the lipstick on the same day? Just two birds with one stone. <laughs> okay, so now that my makeup is done, you can see there's a little bit of a difference between my face and my neck, just a little bit. Not enough where, like, I can't wear this out in public. I still look fine in natural light. It still looks fine. So what I have to do today, it is, oh, I should probably show you the time if we're gonna do a check-in. So it is 12.57 right now. I'm going to wear this hopefully for at least 10 hours. I do want to do a nice wear test on this, so that would be at around 10 or 11 tonight. We're going to see how late I can pull this off, but then also the lighting isn't going to be so great later tonight. But I am going to wear this for as long as I can. I do have to run some errands with my boyfriend today, and then we're going to go grab something to eat, and then probably just stay in, watch some TV. I have plenty of editing to do. I actually have today off of work, so I've been filming all morning, which is why this one is only being done you know at 12 o'clock because I was filming like different videos all morning so I will do a couple of check-ins and then finish up at the end of the night so the next time you see me hopefully it will be in more natural light hi guys so I'm actually going to be starting the wear test for this foundation now it's the next day after I filmed it and it's currently 12 49 p.m. I did finish putting everything on at 12 30 so that's going to be the starting point I tried to film this wear test yesterday but I ended up having like the worst day and I got a migraine and I had to take medication and just lay down and I was like crying and I teared off like my concealer so overall it just it wasn't a fair wear test so I'm gonna do this today unfortunately it's like dark and stormy outside so we're not gonna get the best natural lighting but I am going out for my anniversary today we're gonna go down the shore so we're gonna be at the beach we're gonna be at a lighthouse and then we're gonna go out to eat so hopefully I can get some natural light there for a good wear test on this foundation and I did go back and watch my previous video and I did the exact same makeup with the exception of my eyes I'm just gonna throw on just some shades from my panda palette real quick throw some liner on and then get out the door so again currently it is 12:50, but we're calling the check-in time 12 30. 
Okay guys, and so we're here in natural lighting for a foundation check-in. Right now it is 5.11 p.m. So the foundation's been on since 12.30, so right around four and a half hours. And I have to say, I am hella impressed, but like I've been with this foundation since the beginning. I don't look really oily. I have like found, I have like um, highlighter right here, which is why it looks a little bit more dewy right there. But overall, the foundation looks really nice. It hasn't really worn off of any places. I did not set my forehead with powder and still everything is still looking good up there. Concealer, powder, highlight, bronzer, contour. Everything looks great right now. We're currently on the beach. We're gonna go around and have some like dessert and just walk around the beach and just kind of enjoy like our anniversary weekend. We're gonna have dessert and then I will check in again a little bit later, but this is gonna be the main check-in in natural lighting. It is a bit cloudy outside, but this is the closest to natural light that we are going to get right here. So I'll see you in the next check-in. Hi guys, welcome back to the last check-in. I'm back home, but unfortunately, I am gonna have to cut this wear test a little bit short because I did get another migraine. I tried to take this wear test or film this wear test yesterday and the same thing happened. And I feel like at this point, I'm just gonna have to cut it short and just do it like it is. So it is currently just before eight o'clock, so the foundation's only been on for just about eight hours. But despite everything I've been through, the foundation looks really good. Like, I've been tearing up a bit, so the concealer is a bit worn off, but overall, the foundation wears really well. Even here, because I didn't set this with a powder or anything, it just lasted. This isn't a first impression, so I have worn this foundation several times before, and I already know that I do like it, and I like the way it wears. I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you the full extent of it through this video, but I hope you guys liked this full review. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.